Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. This is a pee bottle. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. How filled up is it? This is Michael J. Fox. What a fall from grace. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's not. He's doing better, isn't he? <laughs> then what? why was he? <laughs> isn't he doing better? Couldn't he? Wasn't he As not doing good? To for what? A he <laughs> has <laughs> Parkinson's, dude. What a, fall. What I a know. fall from grace. You acted like he, he was in a bunch of stuff and then he wasn't. You acted like he fell off a building and then his career took a big hit. What a fall from grace. <laughs> what the frick? No. He got a disease, man. I know. I'm just saying maybe fall from grace wasn't the right phrase. He's not Michael Vick. <laughs> yeah, Michael Vick. That was a that's fall, a from, fall grace. from grace. That's a fall from grace. When somebody gets a disease, you don't say that's a fall from grace. That's just inappropriate and mean. Okay, I'm working on that. I know. Now, a literal fall from grace would be Christopher Reeves. He fell off a horse, and that's a fall from grace. He was Superman. I know he was. How are those Superman movies? I never saw those. You never saw the originals? Uh Uh-uh. We weren't allowed. Wait, what? Why weren't you allowed to watch Superman? Yeah. It's like magic stuff. My mom wouldn't let us. Superman is a witch, baby. You can't be watching Superman. Pretty much. How dare like, he flies on his? I know there's not. Yeah. A, how does he fly? A, there's not technically a broom between those legs, but you know, but between those legs, Satan. Could Satan be. Satan is guiding him as he flies through the outer verse and the inner verse, and my baby will not be subjected to that satanic kind of culture from DC Comics. Yeah, we were never allowed, and I still hold that against Francis. No, just what happened at the IHOP? Why'd you step the waitress? Wow. I was at Coyote Ugly before oh. I went to IHOP. Is that the bar with the ladies who dance on the... Stage? Yes. And yeah. um, I went over my credit card limit. <laughs> and then afterwards, I went to fucking IHOP. And he got I robbed and then made pancakes? pancakes to feel better about himself. And um, oh. I went to pay for it and it declined. Were and you horrified when that happened? Yes, I was panicked, but yeah, I would have been. I was panicked. kind of panicked, <laughs> but <laughs> I would have been too. Explained, I was from Canada. And he told me it was okay. 
It's funny how you can use Canada over yeah. all the list of th ailments that you have. You go, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Canadian. Canadian. Like, I'm Canadian. 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 Canadian, right <laughs> out of here. The Canadian card worked. It, the <laughs> other card did not work. The Are you telling me worked. that being Canadian is more special needs than what you got going on? Yeah. Is that a form of like a, a handicap? You really believe, is that really a thing? I mean, it sounds like you, you can use it. I've used it before. I'm sorry, I'm Canadian. Yeah. You I'm really like, have? I have, yeah. I got away with it. I've got so do y'all like being from Canada? Not do you me. ever lie to people, or do you always say no, you're from I always Canada. Say Canada? Especially you're you're traveling. I think I'm from Canada, yeah. Yeah. I own it. Why not? Hey. Right, why not? I hey. agree. Well, I mean, people can tell just from looking at you. Yeah, you're a host. You know what I mean? Yeah. You look like you Bob and Doug McKenzie. I'm Canadian. You know I mean? <laughs> are Bob and Doug McKenzie. <laughs> Strange Brew, Rick Moranis. No, uh, sorry. Um, Rick Moranis and yeah. Dave Thomas. Yeah, yeah Dave Thomas and Rick Moranis. You yeah. don't know? Out of all the yeah. slanders you said about Not the Rick Moranis? Wendy's guy. <laughs> Not the Wendy's guy. Like, you talk a lot of shit about that guy. <laughs> yeah, well, He was I'd... in Ghostbusters, asshole. She's obviously horny, you know? And so uh, she comes to this next show the next day. And you excited? Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, like, I'm so glad someone else is coming like to the show. And uh, so I go, I say hi to her at the front door, and uh, she hands me a remote. And yeah. she's like, I got a, oh, I know I got a vibrator going. in me right now. I want you to vibrate me while you're on stage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and so what? I, I got the remote in my back pocket. Every time I hit a punchline, I'm just like, Z -Z 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 -Z. swear to God. Are you serious? I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> That's, That's like a funny unreal. story. <laughs> yeah, it's almost unreal. It, uh, it is 100% <laughs> real. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got comics to back it up because they just couldn't believe it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got pictures of the remote I could show you. And uh, she was just <laughs> wild. And uh, I mean, I hit my closer. I zapped her about four or five times. <laughs> and she just was. I was I was wanting to address it on stage so bad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been so awkward. But did y'all meet up after the show? Yeah. And uh, she, like, yeah, I went over to her house. She was like a very, she was a corporate gal. Nice house, big house. Really? At the time, I was homeless. I'm like, why am I here? So you could have killed her. At Look, night. it looks like we're football players. Oh my gosh, like that could be stadium. a movie. You look like you're an announcers uh, for hey, the big game. Hype me up, dude. It's, it's the fucking. It's, it was, this is the state championship. Yes. Hype me the fuck up. All right, we're down. We're da it's the fucking last quarter, bro. Is he coach? Ellis. Yeah. Or no, Quentin. Yeah. <laughs> Quentin. Yes. We are down to the final quarter. You're our best quarterback we have. Okay, coach. You have got to go in there. Do a jet sweep. Yes, Fuck, I can't be a coach. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a Bro. Do a jet sweep. It's the you end. You get your ass in there, and you fucking throw that goddamn ball. See, that was better. All right, why don't, why don't you be the coach, and you hype up William to get in there and win the game? Yeah. Trey, I'm going to tell you something. You are the best goddamn quarterback we got in the state. You hear me? Yeah. Now, what you need to do, you listen to me? Yeah. Your life can change at any point. I just spit in your face. I'm sorry, Cole. I'm sorry, Trey. <laughs> listen to me. Quentin. I get, I get so excited when I see you play. I want you to be the best goddamn player. Forget about the naysayers. Forget about everybody who okay. doubted you. Do, do what Trey does. Okay. And that's play some goddamn ball. Yep. You hear me? Yeah. You redheaded fuck? Yeah. I'm ready you now, go, coach. You do it. I'm ready now, coach. I keep spitting on you, bro, but that's good. That's good. I'm... That was good. He that was be really a good. good. Coach. I'm I thought excited. William was going to cry. I almost right. did. He so, didn't have to. Somebody go be in the comments and be like, head. this motherfucker can't act. He can't da da da. We were riding with Red Band to Houston, and it seemed like His we Tesla almost crashed a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the highway going real fast, and then he immediately, he frantically grabs onto the thing, and I'm like, dude, are we about to fucking die in your Tesla SUV that you have? It seems uh, so dangerous and scary. Yeah. I picture Red Band at the wheel with his virtual reality Oculus goggles <laughs> yeah. on and his pants around his ankles. <laughs> right. I feel like a Tesla is the last automobile that a Brian Redband should have. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I think picture wearing his to... Oculus behind the wheel. It yeah. seems really dangerous. It's going to lead to a lot more masturbation. And I don't even know if Red Band could even up the masturbation level that yeah. much more. <laughs> I know. It's hard to say. I don't, I don't know if he could. I had to do the exclamation mark behind it, though. I, I feel like that adds excitement when mm-hmm. there's an exclamation mark, because if it just sounds like a plan without any sort of... Yeah, then that's like, oh, he definitely doesn't want to do it. Anything at the end, yeah, it's... That's weird. Yeah, you got to put some sort of. You uh, use a lot of exclamation marks in your texting. I do a decent amount. Mm-hmm, I don't know too. why. Sometimes I'll put two or three. Normally just one, but sometimes I'll add an extra one or two. Sometimes I want to do all caps on one word <laughs> so that they know which word I'm emphasizing. Oh, really? But then I, I, I feel like then the, then I'm being too bossy. That's funny. Whenever I type red band onto my phone, it comes out all capital letters. <laughs> and I just left it. I don't know how I showed Erica the other day. Every time I type out red band, He's it's like, all caps. Is cap. it because I always scream it? Yeah. He liked yeah, that. Did the probably. phone somehow know? Mm hmm. I couldn't tell. I don't know. Erica refuses to show me a I Minions movie. And then look at the background sweet Grant put up there. That's perfect, Grant. He's nailing it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's like an advent it. calendar. Yeah. It is like an advent calendar. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Do we're doing one right now. <laughs> yeah, you are? Yeah. You guys on the day? Just or go along with it. <laughs> Why didn't you go along with that? I thought for sure you would go along. Uh, Thank you for not lying. To he me got me an advent calendar last year, a, a Disney men's socks calendar. Yeah, what? The Little men's one had better one, better uh, socks than the women's one. There's like a Simba. There was a Daffy Wait, Duck. Each day you open it up, and instead of a piece of candy, you it's get a some new sock? Disney sock. Yeah. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> wow, you guys know how to party. <laughs> yeah, every day is a new pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> And we each got one, so we ended up with 60 pairs of socks. <laughs> <laughs> Just socks fucking everywhere. <laughs> I remember one Christmas, I, sp- I sprayed the Christmas tree with bug spray. <laughs> and killed with it. my buddy Dillard Butler. And then, yeah, killed the tree, and my mom oh, came wow. back, and she had to throw out all the ornaments. It was oh, bad. Man. We went up into the Devastating. attic, and there was a dr- like a drum. Santa Claus was going to give my brother, but we saw that, so that was kind of the beginning of the end for Santa Claus. It was a rough. <laughs> it was a bad Christmas. <laughs> One time, we all got food poisoning. Oh God! <laughs> it did some place on uh, Christmas Eve, and all got bad food poisoning. A lot of uh, liquid doo doo <laughs> everywhere. Call, call back. Wait, yeah. was I bad to leave the shit on the toilet in that hotel room? And for your uh, Christmas gift, I'm going to open that jar of pickles for you. Thank you. Yeah, we can't get uh, the pickle drawer. I don't know if it's too early to go to the pickles. Is it too early to go to the pickles, Erica? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to say no to me. I won't. We're, Here, we're not, you we're not friends. Try to? So, well, let's get some backstory on this. Hold that up. so people This is see. the present... This is the present for Miss Amy O. Our friend Amy O. Who actually, Erica did her hair on Monday, and she was at our fucking apartment for four <laughs> hours. <laughs> oh, boy. And I was just, yeah, wanting to jump out of the window. And she brought you those pickles. I was desperate. I became desperate. She brought you these pickles, and you can and, and we can't open them. We've tried open. for two nights. Yeah, I mean, literally, we can't open it. Those are good uh, ones. Yeah, I'm excited. They're H-E-B. H-E-B brand. You know, everybody loves H-E-B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put their You're about jars. to do it real easily, I'm sure. I couldn't. <laughs> I'm not... God damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I got it open. It was easy. Thank yeah. you so much for doing that. I'm sorry. That I'm wearing it? <laughs> that you're wearing it. It's all on your crotch area. <laughs> My balls smell like pickles. <laughs> Again. Yeah. How is it? Pretty good. Oh, you are good. It is. Mm-hmm. You really couldn't get that open, huh? Uh-uh. Was that pretty easy for you to do? Mm-hmm. I tried. He must have loosened it up. Pissed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Man, had, Grant's going to be have... pissed off when he sees this. There's Febreze. Yeah, there's Febreze we can spray on it. 
Whoa. Like it's the same songs oh. every year. <laughs> what about Santa, dude? Yeah, what about Saint Nick? We love Santa. Okay. We what love about... Santa Claus. Santa Claus. That's, that's pretty, we man. love Santa Claus. <laughs> we love Santa Claus around here. What are you talking Rudolph? about? No, it's creepy, Rudolph. Man. We love Santa Claus. I love Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> we love Santa around here. Why are you even talking <laughs> shit about Christmas, dude? We love dude. Santa Claus. It's a strange man. <laughs> Coming into your house through your chimney. It's Santa Claus, dude. It's, dude. it's not. It's Look Santa. It. Get it's over it. it. It's weird. Get over it's yourself. If you're watching, I'm not making fun of your daughter. Someday you'll probably be able to drink again. Do you think so? I think so, but it's totally up to you. I think you, you're doing so well, and you're so clear-headed and just better which is like a very vague word, but you just yeah. seem more in the moment and less frantic. And that's, you that, saw me in L.A. when I'd see you at the dude, comedy store. I, was, I didn't <laughs> like you in L.A. Like, I'm I sure remember, that's why it's nice. To, well, I, I just I, yelled a little bit. That's why it's nice we become buddies and we're doing this because, yeah, I always got the I impression. I pissed your ass off, and I well, think there was a number of people. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I was pissed off. I just was like, just like this, this fucking idiot? guy is a hot mess at all times. Yeah, yeah. And then we talked every time we talked. <laughs> he did never remember He you, would right? never remember yeah. that he'd met me before, yeah. and it was one of those things like you, you would always yeah. be nice, like, hey, it's nice to meet you. I'm like, dude. We have literally had six right. or seven conversations out here behind the comedy store, and you would just be like, "Yeah, man, so, woo!" Yeah, I'm like this guy. I just didn't God give love. a shit. <laughs> I just didn't give a shit, which wasn't uh, good. Which wasn't a good way to uh, to be. So but, what? Your family? You had family in town, and then your what? The aunt scared my, the homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty my impressive. My family was here, my mom and dad and my aunt, and they're all in their 70s. Okay. And then my daughter uh, was here and uh, also, and we all went downtown to 6th Street and we saw some, uh, we saw a buddy playing some music. Uh, it was great. We had fun. We did some drinking, some, at, some day drinking on 6th Street. That's and always my, fun. It's always fun. I love Austin. And then... We were leaving and we were waiting for our Uber and we were waiting on a street corner for our Uber and my aunt, my aunt Gail, <laughs> she was so drunk that she was like, she's a fun drunk, you know, she's not like, she doesn't cause problems yeah. or anything. She's having a great time, but she just decided that she needed to lean up against the building <laughs> to like steady herself while we waited. And as she was doing that, a homeless guy came by like a shirtless homeless guy too who's kind of sketchy looking that's scary. and as he's walking by my aunt all of a sudden goes hi <laughs> and he jumped he was like ah scared him and he scurried off <laughs> and we were like wow <laughs> you cool. scared a homeless guy the tables have been turned <laughs> nicely done aunt, aunt gail. gail aunt gail had cancer when you were on mushrooms i was sitting on that same couch the hairy I was one sitting on the hairy couch I was in mushrooms. Denver another night. It was right after my birthday. I went to the after hours bar because I got to be friends with all these sketchy people because I was the dishwasher. <laughs> and I was partying a bunch, listening to Steely Dan back in the dish pit. So they all thought I was cool. No, I'm kidding. I'm just, I added that part. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they did. But no, I was back there and I went to some after hours bar and it was my birthday. And we went to the cocaine dealer's apartment way out of town. And then one of the girls there has ass, and I'm like, whatever. And I took some, and then I'm back at the house in Denver and get a phone call from my parents, and I answered it for some reason. Normally, I don't answer that. And my dad's like, yeah, I have cancer. And he's high as shit. And it's horrible. After not sleeping and, tr and being on acid and then getting the phone call about my dad having cancer, it was nightmarish. It was horrible. Wow. Yeah. It, it really was horrible. Fun. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, I remember years ago I was going to this open mic in Memphis and I had the one this one piece ski suit on that I would wear some and I had like arm protectors and knee protectors, like rollerblading stuff. And my mom was like, What are you gonna go say? <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna talk about how I was rollerblading and my skate got caught in a sewer grate and I got real hurt. 
and Francis literally starts crying. <laughs> I will always remember that, like not crying in like a happy laughing way, but I don't know what emotion it really was. But she started crying. I'll always remember that. Just many years ago, just thinking, why is she crying? This is so weird. Yeah, Erica and I, one night, I don't even know if I should say this, but I was drinking Four Locos, <laughs> and let's just say we needed a Plan B pill the next day. <laughs> I hope my parents don't watch this. They get angry. But I remember- Yeah, they don't we, want you drinking Four loco. Yeah, drinking the Four <laughs> Locos, just getting the Plan B from Walgreens the next day, and I remember telling the lady at the front that we were cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? That yep, was kind of fun. Yeah, it was mortifying. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Yeah, it was. I didn't know if that would make it better. So I just had no idea. So I just thought I'm going to say we were cousins and just see what happens. Like, it was kind of expensive. You were the getting. Bill. You got like tall cans of Modelo in a Plan B. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh man, I was telling Erica this the other night. My Middle brother Vance, when they were in school, they went down to Florida for spring break and they were all tripping on acid. And one of their buddies, they went to the beach and one of their buddies jumped in and broke his neck and died. Oh, God. And they were all tripping and stuff. I can't even oh, imagine God. that. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't even imagine that. And then I remember later on in that spring break, I think I saw them and they had rented this house. And I remember being drunk as fuck going up to this little like. <laughs> lookout looking roof and there were three dudes up there with one of those three person slingshots just getting full cans of beer and just doing them back and fucking letting them rip just into the darkness and i was like i hope this doesn't hit somebody this would kill somebody or go break windows like what are y'all doing it was insane those three person slingshot things are so fun in a beach situation I don't even know what you're talking about. Three person, three. So sling. two people, people, people are on either side holding, holding it, and then somebody gets in the middle. And oh, okay, and then they just get launched. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> you That's can launch stuff. So out crazy. Of that. <laughs> people just love getting launched. Uh, but I can't imagine yet yeah, being at the beach and somebody die. I remember going to the beach and I used to dig holes. When oh I'd yeah, with my parents, I'd get high when I would get a little later <laughs> on, like in middle school and high school. I'd just get real high, listen to music, and dig holes. <laughs> was it was it because you were secretly wanting to be on that movie Holes? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? about? <laughs> That's another Roald Dahl mo- uh, book. I know Tears we're doing the Giant Peach. <laughs> yeah, I know we're doing just children's movies now. Holes was good though. I do. I did. I dig holes. I dug a lot of holes. Dug holes. holes. <laughs> I digged a big. I digged hole. a bunch of holes. <laughs> <laughs> I dig so many good holes. Guy, I have some joke I'll tell some, but it never goes well. But it's one of my favorite jokes. Just I've been re- researching wormholes recently. I've got a bunch of them in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one time I called? Uh, I got a phone call from you, and it was that African American police lady. And they were at y'all's house thinking I was trapped in an underwater cave. <laughs> yeah. That's real? I, I left. Yeah, that's real. I was calling people after, like, Mondays. I'd get all fucked up, and I'd stay up and call people on the phone, and i convince some guy I was trapped in an underwater cave system. And then I'm talk, talking to poor Mama and Papa, and the police are at their house at, like, 6 in the morning. And you sounded pretty yep. sad, Papa, which touched me. But Mama, it seemed like she could should have acted sadder. <laughs> she didn't seem as sad when they thought I was. Well, I told, I have told this story before, but I was at work. It wasn't at six in the morning, but but I was at oh, work. Okay. Your mother calls and says the Los Angeles police have called the Memphis police, and the Memphis police are at our house. Get home immediately. So I'm. Um, just convinced that you're dead and and i am ashamed to admit that the main thought running through my head was where the hell am i going to park a u-haul to get your shit because the parking is so bad in la that's how park that's how bad parking is parking Parking was all you gotta go straight to that first because that's how bad it is that's so funny that's what you were thinking yeah i felt guilty uh (laughs) <laughs> but I kept thinking about it because I had no idea what I was going to do. But 
That's how believable anyway, out you, you were just getting trapped in an like underwater <laughs> cave is. That's that. <laughs> in drought-stricken California. Uh, yeah, no, it's William. With William, there's never a dull moment. I'll tell you. So what? You went uh, back though. But the anyway, police were there. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then as the story began to unfold. It sounded like just some of your bullshit. <laughs> you know, it's, he's trapped in a cave and the water's rising and the oxygen is running out. And I, we just, Francis and I looked at each other and said, fuck, he's just making that shit up. Do you have ghosts normally in your house? Yeah. Do you not know about the ghosts? You've said mention them, but I try no, not to No, seriously. Think about one time, this is a true story. One time I had my whole Bible study there. There were like 15 women. Yeah. And we were sitting in a circle and all at the same time, we hear someone walk across the kitchen floor and we all looked up at the same time and there was no one there. That's truly true. I believe maybe it was the Holy Spirit since y'all were at a Bible. No, it was they were footsteps. Does the Holy Spirit not have footsteps? I started saying, I don't even know I'm saying these jokes about my poor father. He's been nothing but a nice man, and I'm yeah. making him out to be some crazy alcoholic person. I'm really getting second thoughts about it. Does he know about this? Does he uh, see your stand-up at all? Uh, good question. Yeah, he might. He doesn't really bring it up, but I think mm -hmm. that's almost weird that he doesn't bring it up because it's like he's really thinking about it, too. It's just a, it's turned into a nightmare. Fucking slowly. direct hit. He knows what's up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, God, it's turning into a nightmare. What if he became an alcoholic just to make you not seem like a hypocrite i don't know it happened he's, it's it could. A good dad. <laughs> he started driving faster he said yeah <laughs> he's finally started speeding he said <laughs> which is funny small. that sounds like a rad dad i don't know yeah he started <laughs> speeding he always drove real slow growing up and now he taught my mom talks about how he speeds around everywhere Hot. both of y'all do i know y'all look homeless i know come on well, i want to fit in in austin i don't want we do, uh, well to i don't see it. anybody else looking like y'all i don't want them to ask me for cigarettes there's some oh, like that. please! <laughs> this is going to be the funnest thing. We're going to have a Come on. trim off. What do you mean? Like more arts and grabs. They get hair all over their carpet. Get us well, yeah, 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 This is not our studio. <laughs> I'm already walking on thin ice with Grant after I went weird the other day. Get me a roll of paper day. towels. We just, we'll clean it up. You guys, you guys can cut a... hair in there. It's fine. We'll clean Here. We'll help you clean okay, it up. Okay, this is going to well, be... Well, hold on. Come on. This is going to be really fun. Let her trim it up just a little bit. Gosh, I wish you... You really think Mama could... Yeah, just effectively pull it, trim my beard right now. It, She's gonna no, please. Come on, William. <laughs> Come on. How did this happen, Grant? Why did you bring these scissors in here? Thank you, Grant. She wants to trim I up your hair. I wish there were a Francis, yeah. all you have to that's do is mom. pull it and cut. I know. Come on. Let I don't me, think that's gonna go here. well, Mama. Yeah, Come, on. Please. Come on, please. Come on. I don't think it's gonna go well. Yeah, but you look like a nut. You look like a scary pirate. I look like a scary pirate. Just let me have a little bit. Don't Here. be a puss. I don't want you're Let you're gonna I don't want to shave my whole beard off. It's gonna end up I'm gonna have to shave the whole no, thing you aren't. off. No, you aren't. You That's really always think my fear. But it can grow back and y'all can look crazy <laughs> again. Look, it couldn't look any worse. It could you only, don't think it could look any it worse. It could only look better. Larry, so you're, you're strong. Cut. Hold him down. Come on, just hold me down. Let me I'll just have one. No, little... stop. Hold on. I can't believe you. There's nothing better than Chisos brand. My God, I don't know if you I've ever felt a harder bottom of a boot before. I've never experienced a harder bottom of a boot. The fucking bottoms of them are like fucking petrified wood. Go to Chisos.com. Isn't that what you told me to say, Well, So I was just wondering when you were just out of the room, uh, how are these lobsters still alive? Don't they breathe in water? Or do they breathe in air? Both. I mean, they're gonna. They're. I mean, they're not like fish, so they are gonna. You know, they can also breathe. What is a lobster? I feel like the chef in the Little Mermaid. Doesn't he mess around with lobsters? He does. I think. What, what does the lobster get away though? It does get away. Yeah. Well, today we're gonna cook Sebastian. He's not gonna get away. Woo! Uh, and we're gonna put him in mac and cheese. Cool. This sounds good. I love mac and cheese. Yeah. So I mainly make the craft macaroni and cheese. How's macaroni even named? How was it named? Is uh, a guy named that? And I like how we just have this one microphone so we can stand a little close to each other while we're doing oh, this. Oh, I love it. It's great. It's really good. All right, so these are going, and we're going to get started on uh, a roux. Equal parts butter uh, and flour. What are your thoughts on salted versus unsalted butter? 
All right, you ready to kill some lobsters? Yup. All right, we're gonna need a piece of shit. A lot of people will just take the lobster and drop it right into the boiling water. I don't like to do that. It's a slow death as opposed to a quick death that we're gonna give this lobster here. So, that's <laughs> so it makes them turn red when they're in the boiling water? No, no, they're gonna turn red even if you kill them. It is oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like they get really mad and turn red. I was about to get mad or something. Yeah, turn red. What we do here, right? Turn him this mm. way so he never sees it coming. Um, well, his eyeballs, look at his eyeballs. Yeah, I wonder he, if he can see us. Wikipedia says he can't, but I don't okay. know. Um, so you basically hold this right here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and he's done. Now his body will still move a little bit. But he's dead right now. Same idea as like a chicken with his head cut off. Yeah. It's an instant death. So you can see his, his nerves will still kind of move, but there's no more anxiety, no stress, nothing like that. So when you do it, you want to hold it kind of right there. Yeah. So hold that with one, with one hand. What's your dominant hand? My right hand. Okay. So hold it with your left hand. Okay. Right? And now you're going to tap down with your right hand until it, until it goes all the way through. So now just do it in? Just fucking do it in. Okay. There we go. All, all the way. You got to finish. Hit it. Hit it. All the way. All the way. There we go. Now go all the way down. There you go. Done. You just killed your first lobster. Well, I actually feel really powerful. Right <laughs> now drink blood. Look at his little thing yeah. moving. You, you Are you sure he's not hurting? You're supposed to lick that little thing. <laughs> it's your first kill. His little legs are still moving. <laughs> We're going to let them go for about uh, three or four minutes. I'm going to drink my can to dry because I'm still That is so cute, you. that little thing. I feel like a bitch. Ow. Whoa! Was it trying to jump out? I'm gonna do one and then you're gonna do the second one. Okay. Uh, hold it, uh, the body. Yeah. Hold the tail. Twist it. Pull it straight out. Whoa. Look at that. What are that? What is that? That's the row. What's that? Damn. So, what we're gonna do next? Okay. You gotta remember all this because then we're gonna have okay have a test. You're gonna take shit. Okay. Take this. Look at that. What's this thing? It's part of the, oh, that? Yeah. It's poopy line. Really? Oh yeah. We're gonna Have take- you noticing I've been spelling my fingers? You're gonna yeah. do it like that, <laughs> leave that part in. Yep, yep. Woo, that feels weird. You got it. Yeah. There you go, there we go. Yeah. Yup. If he's not, oh, it's all, look at, look at that, perfect. You don't. You never want to push straight down. If you just push down, nothing really happens. But yeah, if you go forward, it cuts quite easily. Okay. I never knew how. Maybe that's why I was taking forever to do the onions. I was just going just, straight just, down. Like, and why is this not cutting? And, yeah. And then uh, you can use the back end of the knife for this. Yeah. Hit it right there until it cracks. Hit it right uh, there. Okay. You know, Shit, it here. didn't look that hard when you did it. I don't know why it's... All right, put it on this side. We'll try that one. Maybe weaken those two sides if they're going to Do you have a little crack there? Wow. <laughs> Yum. Yum. This is a slight uh, variation of my grandmother's recipe. I use smoked paprika in my sauce, which you can use. And the uh, smoked paprika really, really sets it off. What does paprika taste like? Here, put your hand here. You can really smell it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It smells kind of like a chipotle, right? What's a chipotle, Pepper? You never had a chipotle mango? I've had chipotle in the restaurant. <laughs> what kind of milk is this? What kind of milk do you drink? You like taco milk? You like Frosties? What is Frosty? 
<laughs> no, uh, you're kidding. Is that like the uh, like Dairy Queen? Like uh, it's the Wendy's. So now we have our milk here, right? Yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of salt to our milk. Oh my gosh, whose hair is that? That's definitely yours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's orange. Yeah, that's an orange one. <laughs> yeah, all my hair's just falling out. Now it's falling into the food. God. What is this, Gruyere? This is Gruyere. So this is like a Swiss cheese. It's like an aged, hardened Swiss cheese. Is it true Swiss cheese has those holes in it for like mice and stuff? Uh, like the mice eat part of the Swiss cheese and yeah, every and single the batch they've ever made? <laughs> <laughs> It's just yes. It's only one yes. Time. It's absolutely true. Okay. Uh, the pasta is done uh, when it is just a little bit al dente. You know what al dente means? Is it hard? Oh, we should turn the oven on. Huh? What do you put it on? Uh, let's go to four hundred, huh? Why not? Is that what you typically do, or it depends on the uh, recipe you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> more salt. How can you tell it needs more salt? So with salt, the key is that you never want to taste the salt. Yeah. Uh, but the salt's gonna actually bring out the sweetness. It's gonna bring out the other flavors. The idea is that you want to put just enough salt that you don't taste the flavor of it, but you want to kind of ride that that uh, that line. So what, the soups that I'm making, I need to be putting more salt in it because I don't put a lot of salt in them. Definitely. The, really? main, the, the number one difference uh, between like restaurant cooking and home cooking yeah. is just the amount of salt we use. I like that noise. <laughs> Look at that, like a pro. Maybe you could hire me at one of your places. Maybe I can. <laughs> I don't know why you laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a little thick there. Uh -oh. And we're gonna take this butter, both of these cheeses, lobster, our lobster, get that nice and mixed in. And now, a little more cheese right over the top. Okay. So we went through almost a giant bag of cheese. Macaroni and cheese. I know, I know. <laughs> Not macaroni with cheese. I know. All right, now we wait. Okay, so now we drink beer. Do you ever shotgun beers? Uh, yeah, let's pull this guy out of there. Okay. Yeah, make sure you have your mittens. What are these called? Oh, mittens. See that? So the fire's on top. Oh yeah. Ow! What'd you just do? Did you just slam that on my knee, Bill? <laughs> oh! Ow! Ow! I'm sorry, I just got real high out there. I got way too high outside. There you go, sweetheart. You're gonna put your little ginger in there. Right now, there. let's just fuck it. Let's just drink let's some just beer, it. yeah. All right, let's just fuck it. <laughs> That'd be a bad idea. I would end up doing the cocaine that I still have in my- No, <laughs> you put ginger beer in Okay, I, I, I- Cheers. Cheers. Oh! <laughs> That on <laughs> yeah, look at that. It got a little uh, darker on top. That looks like she Woo! done it to me. Ooh. Should we get in here? Yeah. I just tried to talk into the plane. <laughs> <laughs> How hot is it? I don't know. I'm gonna fucking slip up. Mmm. <laughs> Man, that is salty. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm kidding. That's wonderful. That's fucking good. It's great. Mm. Doo doo on the baby wipe, and I felt like a fool. I had, I yeah, took a bunch man. of those Red Dawn. You know, Red Dawn? They're the company that made the first spice, Pep Spice. <laughs> and they have, they still sell them in Illinois. They're called like Red Dawn, like whatever, Lightning. They sell my gas stations, but if you look on the back, it's like all these legal types of meth, like methylphenidate, methadrine, methylcylamine, yeah. 
all these crazy offshoots, and we got wasted one night and snorted a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, it was like it was like speed for a couple hours, but then it was like something's wrong. We we're like, yeah, yeah we got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's yeah, it's <laughs> awful. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean when you said we got to get out of here? Did y'all just start moving around? Like, like just... to heaven. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like we're going to leave our bodies pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, when it when it becomes more than just a speed thing and you're starting to think, like I would look out the window and put flow <laughs> on my head and like, you know, that's when it's like I need to go to sleep. Yeah. You know? But it's been what, a couple of it's days? It's been maybe? three and a half days and I'm <laughs> not tired or hungry. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's, it's bad. It's Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's what Gran, I think, still does sometimes when his daughters are at his ex-wife's house on the weekend. (laughs) And Michael, I have to say, uh, with your ass, you were on, when is that Kill Tony? When is that? Is that tonight? Yeah, that's uh, coming out tonight. It was so funny. For those that don't know, Michael didn't say a fucking (laughs) word. I did not. And at first, I was like, this, I was just like, what's going on? I loved it. I was laughing. And then I was just, I was curious to see what happened, and it ended up working out. You ended up saying one word. Yeah. Was that I your did. plan? Absolutely not. What yeah. happened? You just kind of froze a little bit and then just went with it? No. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Getting emotional. What <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage in my life. I've had some things happen that have been interesting, but holy shit. Um, what do you mean? Just like the reception of what was happening by the audience? Or what do you mean? Well, it was the best Kill Tony I've ever seen before I went up because of the energy. It was just crazy i haven't admittedly seen that many i watched i started watching it a lot when i got here and now i watch it on youtube and see it live i've known about it you know yeah i had never heard of it or seen it or anything until last week or until last (laughs) week yeah um and so the energy was insane and i really thought i wasn't gonna go up and then my name got called and then i went up and they were instantly so hot. <laughs> you have a fun look. You have a fun comedy look. It, it, but they, I, I was prepared for that because I, one thing that I've done before yeah. is stepped on laughs out the gate out of nervousness and then ruined the set. So I already had told myself, don't talk right out if they're already laughing like give them a second to mm-hmm. calm Very down good idea talk. yeah and they never calmed down <laughs> that's what happened <laughs> david well for people maybe watching this today yeah i think and for people saying are we ever going to do brothers and cursive again i don't know maybe we would do something in the future but i just want to get the record <coughs> i just want to get the record straight with uh the piece of shit that was kind of helping us oh it was two people right Wolf. Wolf. Oh, which wasn't nice. even his real name. Yeah, I don't know his real name. And then, uh, what was the other... Do you other... think he still has that mural? That'd be hard to cover up. I haven't talked to that dude since two years ago. Yeah, he painted a mural. There was a mural painted, and our first red flag should have been... He was in the middle of the mural. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been our wasn't first his dog on fucking it too? red flag. Wasn't his dog on it, too? Yeah, and his fucking dog... It was his big thing he did in his garage, so he yeah, must. He, I pray. I hope he still looks he, at us. Sometimes. He he didn't get the memo where it's like we need a producer, not a third cast member, mm-hmm. dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that when and it uh, was kind of dark. I'm no angel. I was getting fucked up a lot. All that time, uh, all, it was just a yeah. whole nightmare kind. But you yeah. guys were getting fucked. He was getting fucked up with Red Band, and he always you always showed up. You were always there. Yeah, I mean, that whole period during quarantine was just a lot of stress, Mm -hmm. a lot of everything, a lot of stuff fell apart because, like, I remember being at Red Band Studio, and from what I remember, I thought we had something like a year, right? What? Before he he was going to move. Oh, right, right. And then one day he came in after he came out here to do something for Rogan, he's like, I'm leaving in three weeks. And I'm like, what the fuck? (laughs) Yeah, that's right. right. I have kids. I can't just up and leave <laughs> like right i have to play like it took me what two years to get here i just mm-hmm. not moved to it like it, i have yeah. a lot of stuff 
that has to be planned before I get here. So like it it was it was kind of I'd say it was like when you do shit in a hurry, it never turns out right. And it was just like you know we were just I don't even know how it came about to use him. I don't even remember. He was your buddy. I think you guys had like the option of like doing it remotely with Red Band, but then you guys were like, well, we now have the opportunity to try something new. And I think he might have reached out and said, like, I can do what Red Band does. Oh, and yeah, he probably, couldn't. So, probably something like that. Yeah. He no. couldn't even turn on the camera. His roommate, you guys would have to pay his roommate $50 oh, yes. to turn yeah. on the oh, camera. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Yeah. His roommate was pretty <laughs> I for- cute. I forgot about Shut that. Up. I'm kidding. He said I was sexually <laughs> harassing his roommate. I forgot about that. Remember William. that? I forgot. Well, that. Do you remember he texted William? A little birdie says you're gonna post something about why it ended. I suggest you don't. And then I William never heard about that. William doesn't do stuff like that. And then Hold now, on, a little birdie said what? He, he knew. He thought I was gonna go on Reddit or something and talk yeah, about William what happened. William doesn't do stuff like that. And then an hour later, Wolf posted something on Reddit saying I sexually harassed his roommate. Like, so saying, who who told you the info? Wolf. So Wolf told you what he was about to do. Yes. But it, it probably wasn't his name on Reddit, right? And Casey, listen oh, well. and listen to this. I ended up putting, I don't know, thirty two hundred bucks in it, and when it all dissolved, the wolf guy gave me two microphone stands <laughs> and like a side table or something, <laughs> and just kept everything. Do you yeah. remember all that? Luckily, I haven't thought about that shit at yeah, all. It's like I, a like, nightmare. To be honest, dog, like you said, bro, I tried to forget that period. Me too, because it was a dark, depressing it period. Was. We weren't doing stand up, like bro. I I was developing an alcohol problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, we were drinking that uh, <laughs> fucking tequila that tasted like water. Yeah, I was developing an alcohol <laughs> problem, dog. I was fuck. I was the expensive one. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. He must have had something associated with my number when you guys were here. And I was like, I got a message like, oh, you spent $90 at this liquor store in Austin. I was like, William, what the hell did you buy $90? No, no, at- no, not here in Austin. Oh, well, he, but, it was, but, the, it was no, no, the tequila. No. I had, but when when uh, that happened, I remember something happened with my debit card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to give him the money to go buy some, or I didn't have an it idea or something. It was $90. Yeah, yeah. But I no, I, I had a bottle of tequila that was like 300 bucks. Oh, shit. And the shit tastes like honey water. Oh, nice. Like William was like, why does this not taste disgusting? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was in a, it was in a nice ceramic vase, mm-hmm. like how rich people say it, vase. <laughs> yeah, but I try to I try to literally forget that period because I had a newborn baby. I mm-hmm. couldn't go do comedy. I was stressed out. I was developing an alcohol problem. I wasn't working at the comedy store, and I had just started the comedy store. And like me and William, our podcast was just starting to take off. We would have been able to do live, like. I feel honestly, had the pandemic not happened, me and William would probably have a top five podcast on YouTube and Spotify and Apple Music. What did the girl look like? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll be real. Like, no, okay, she looked like an abused Muppet. Like, oh like, god. Like, like no, but like if like the Muppets did a thing on like a like a like domestic abuse, that's kind of what it, like she had like the face of like a Muppet. Like animal. And, like no, like the like the uh, no, not like an animal, but like if Jim Henson, like yeah, from the animal. Muppets, like if like animal Miss... the Muppet. You're not familiar with animal. He's the uh, drummer. He's the wild one. Oh, he's the wild drummer. He's the one that goes. Wah, wah, wah. Oh no, okay, <laughs> no. He's the one that makes the noise. Is it Moog or whatever? Like Moog. <laughs> is Moog? Uh, I don't think I've heard of Moog. The the like, out Muppet. here making up Muppets, bro. No, the, the king of like improv. A, the one that's like a, <laughs> the one that's like a like an orange pencil, like cylindrical tube, and he's like he's beaker. Like a, beaker. Yeah. <laughs> Moog. What you say? The that's guy. sweet. You were picturing beaker and calling him. No, what's his, <laughs> what, what's his, sweet. The orange no, pencil. What, what's his uh what's his sound that he makes though? Me? <laughs> <laughs> he he says moog. Moog. It's just meep. Moog. That's that's what that's what the There lady, could be one that does make that noise. I don't know. Maybe I think he like made that noise. Jim Henson died of strep throat. I know. <laughs> no shit. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. 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 We love well, yeah. You think at the end he was going, me. No, hell no. He's he was not the voice and... of Beaker. Yeah, and he wasn't the uh, voice of Beaker. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> me. That you can be nice. in the remake. Yeah, no, if like Beaker dies in strep throat. Then you can be in yeah, the yeah, remake. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. I tried to put it on, but my hands were cold, I guess, because my balls like went up into my tummy. Yeah.
Well, that's like, you know, what's the McDonald's guy, the purple guy? Grimace. Yeah, he's got <laughs> yeah. little he's got he's got little nuggets, you know? They look exactly like little nuggets. Oh, hold on. Yeah, does Casey know Grimace? <laughs> come on. Dude. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I keep a picture oh, of thick yeah. Grimace in my I book honestly bag, was bro. just saying come that on. just as a lead in for this. That's come really on, all bro. I wanted. <laughs> That is a thick Jeepers creepers Jeepers 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 Big thick boy I like that you smelled it after I love smelling stuff (laughs) Yeah It's it's a scratch and sniff Yeah it smells like strawberry parfait Ooh Yum Mm. (laughs) From TCBY It's almost lunchtime Yeah (laughs) Very excited (laughs) So Yeah you didn't know Yeah No I didn't know I had no idea Funny how that works. Yeah, it's weird how shit like that happens. It's crazy how you find things out. Now yeah. that grimace, that one. What are your thoughts on that one, Casey? Kind of frumpy. This one's a butterface, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> I mean, look at that fucking body, <laughs> but the face. Oh, yeah. yeah, that body won't quit, but those that <laughs> fucking face. <laughs> Those eyes look like they're trying to smile, but they look so sad. There's years of sadness. Yeah. (laughs) There's a story there, and I don't want to know it. God, and that crusty-looking mouth with that red-ass tongue. God. Can you imagine what the nuggets on that one look like? Fuck, no. (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know who drew that one. Somebody needs to go back to art school on that after that one. That's not a good one. Someone needs to bone up on a, a few more Microsoft Paint tutorials. <laughs> yeah, because that's embarrassing. I mean, Grimace doesn't need to be. This is like, like piss that. poor. No. Yeah, that actually pisses my ass off. <laughs> now we're in business. Yeah. You know, when I was in college, I've told this story many times, but I blacked out on Fireball whiskey, and I woke up and man, so I much, miss that uh, shit. Oh, it was so easy to drink. Ooh. <clears throat> ah, I, I woke up in someone's garage, and <laughs> oh, I no. <laughs> and. Uh, I had like, uh, I don't know if it was raining or what. I might have pissed my pants. Anyways, I knock on the door of the garage at like 8 in the morning, and these people open the door, and I'm like, hey, do you guys know where I am? Gosh. Um, and this this guy like <laughs> smiled at me, and he was like, Phew. and he just shut the door. And <laughs> so I took an Uber home, and I was telling my buddy about this, and he goes, dude, you got shanghai <laughs> And he was like, it used to happen to my buddy in Milledgeville. You get really drunk. People just think it's funny to kind of steal people sometimes. Somebody probably just stole you. <gasps> Damn. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, it well, it's happens. good you were safe, Casey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And here he is. I woke up on a dog bed. And here he is. <laughs> <laughs> like a little stinky garage dog bed. <laughs> it's raining yeah. outside. Yeah, it was pouring rain. It was like January. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> was it like a dog bed or like? It was really game? small, but I was curled oh, up in a perfect incredible. ball, probably yeah. for body warmth. Yeah, yeah probably trying to stay warm. Yeah. Oh. Was there a toy? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can you do that noise? What? <laughs> Whoa, you look really cold. <laughs> yeah, you do look really cold. Uh, You're uh, freezing. I thought you guys said I looked really cool. I was like, oh, thanks. Thank you. Michael, Michael, Michael. Yeah, yes. you look really cool do right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably was definitely more like the thought Titanic was a documentary. Oh, it, really? Yeah, I probably was like that kind of dumb. So I was like, oh. Titanic. Well, that's, that's a little closer. I it's mean, a little Titanic real. Titanic did exist and it did sink. It did, yeah. A bunch of people died. It'd be funny if they were like Titanic tr- truthers, though. <laughs> I think that's they probably that are. That's why the song right? they were playing when the boat went down. <laughs> yeah, right? They didn't sink, they flew it up to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> can't find it. Ship's a replica. Ice can't break steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. can it? That doesn't sound believable. <laughs> I know that's the weird part. Was An iceberg a sunk a big ship for real. It that's was like metal. totally fucking unbelievable. Yeah, man, it was aliens. <laughs> you really think it? No, I don't fucking know. I didn't think about that though. You're right. An, like a big I've chunk of ice. Of yeah, how does and that... it's in the water? Why wouldn't it just move out of the way when you? Yeah, where's when it? You What's hit an it, anchor you know? to? Like it's you just hit it, it would just float away. Oh, man, <laughs> we're getting to the bottom of something. When you stick your finger in a. A uh, cup of ice water. The uh, the ice cubes just yeah move yeah, around. They move. Yeah, because because icebergs aren't anchored to the ground. No. no. Yeah, last time I checked, they weren't. Do you have your photo? I do. Did you bring it? I do. Oh. I do have it. Do you? <laughs> but the question is, do you actually want to see it? I do want to. Yeah, see it. I don't believe you. You're the pulling our photo. leg. 
Do you really, really want to see Yeah, we want to see the fucking picture. I don't know if you do. <laughs> we want to see the picture. We've been asking for it for weeks. Months even, maybe. All right, it's all right. It's been like two fucking months. Let me... Let me pull it. I hear you moving around. I hear you <laughs> scurrying around. Uh-huh. I'm hustling now. I'm hustling. <laughs> He's got to take it there down. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's There's my favorite. Is that the function. actual picture other Which than the you? stupid things on the faces? Is that actually the picture? It is. There's a bigger picture. Oh, my there's gosh. A- look uh. at you. And there's me and Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's here. The whole gang. All of us. I love it. Wait. And, and if you look at my legs, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see, but I got uh, there's the chiggers that uh, crawled all over my legs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! What a good looking family. <laughs> yeah, we all look great, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Something's off about that. Something seems off about that. <laughs> How long did that... it take you to put the the little bugs on there? <laughs> <laughs> a minute. <laughs> It was really easy. I'd forgotten that this was how this whole thing started, that he got 150 chigger bites on his legs at this photo shoot. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that really a picture of you, or was that a Photoshop <laughs> picture of your face? I'm trying to figure that out. That's, it. That's the picture. Is That's, that really the picture? That's the picture. That's the oh, picture. my God. Take everything else off. No, I'm not taking the faces off. I love the um, Brett holding the baby William. It's kind of how this podcast got started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's how it still is. You've been very sweet. <laughs> Wait, why? Did, I don't know why you had... I just wanted to see the actual picture, and then I see the face all... My face all on it, and I'm real high right now. It's like yeah. Lamb Chop. I used to love Lamb Chop. Y'all ever watch Lamb Chop? I don't watch Lamb Chop. But You've never seen Lamb Chop. I know of Lamb Chop, but I've never watched it. What Lamb Chop? I got Have you ever Google seen Lamb Chop? I got to Google Lamb With Chop. With Sherry. Look at Whoa, those, look look at at those butts. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, I'm telling you, if you watch them walk too, them little things be thanging. You know what I'm saying? It's actually kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, but the motherfuckers look like they saw. It's like a scary person <laughs> leaning over. <laughs> Tear that little ass up. Ooh. That's what the shit. Is there, you can't see it. You can't, sh- can you show a video? Watch the fucking ass jiggle. Dude, I got to look up the lamb job. Yeah, Grant, see if there's a sheep ass jiggling. Tell you that shit. I'll, I'll try and find one. <laughs> yeah, do sheep at plus ass jiggling. The FBI going to be here soon. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen, did, God, did you ever see that video of that girl giving the dog Look a blowjob? Look how job? fat that ass is. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.